Thanks for clicking on this video. It is a follow-up to some previous ones where we have used VBA to extract rows from a data set that meets our criteria. So uh, I've just reorganized the sheet a little bit from the previous videos. We've got a list of names here. Those names populate this drop-down box. And when I select a name from the box, I can choose any of them. There's two macro buttons here that I can choose from. The first one is the most simple, so I'm going to start with that. When I click the button, it runs a process, tells me it's complete, and then takes me to the file. So what it's done is create a new sheet. It's used the person name to, name, to become the name of the sheet. It hasn't done any formatting, so we would have to um, tidy this up if we wanted to present it in some uh, formal way. But nevertheless, it's extracted those data points successfully. If I select a different name and click the second of the two buttons, it does the same thing. It just formats it slightly better. It pastes across the column headings and it pastes across also the column widths. So both really do the same job. The critical and key learning point from this video is around the creation of a new sheet each time. So let's go to the code window and see what's going on. The really critical line or lines of code in this procedure are as follows. Firstly, you have to declare a variable that is a worksheet variable because we are going to create a new worksheet in this file. So here we can see the line of code that declares report sheet as a name of a new worksheet. Then later on, when we're actually creating the new sheet, we can immediately apply that name to it. And so here's that line of code there. Set report sheet equals sheets.add. All that does is create a new sheet and the little bit of detail in the brackets afterwards is just saying where it's being added. In this case, it's adding it at the end of the list of sheets. After it does so, it goes through the code that we've been through already in previous videos where it's just looking through column B to see if the name of the person in column B matches our search target. If it does, copies 12 columns, goes to the other page, pastes it, and then goes back and keeps looping through the rows. So we've been through that process, and if you haven't um, seen those videos, it might be something that's useful for you to go back and look at. The second um, button runs really the same code, particularly the key stuff is the same. The only difference is there's just a little bit of extra uh, format pasting really, and I've done it in a little bit of a, um, a stepped process just to make it as clear as possible. The first thing I did was copy the titles and formats, and the second thing I did was copy the column widths. So I did them in two parts. And after that, the code's exactly the same as it is above. It simply goes in search of the matching records and pastes them in. In the second one, what I did just to demonstrate the, um, the value of commenting out your code is that I put an apostrophe in here before the message box, which stopped it running. I think those boxes are pretty annoying um, and I wouldn't use them, but it's a nice little trick to learn. So. Um, you can see now the code is black, which means it's going to execute, but if I put an apostrophe in front of it, it is not. So I'm going to leave it commented out, just so you can differentiate between these two pieces of code. One little thing just to be aware of is that if there's already a sheet name with the name that you've selected, then it's not going to work. This code is going to error. That's because it's trying to create a sheet name for something that already exists. So um, if I demonstrate that, we can see an error message pop up. Now, 
you could add a couple of lines of code in there that would do a check and if it found a sheet already with that name then it would simply add a 2 or a 3 or a, um, some kind of other prefix or suffix to the name that would be the solution that I would look to implement I just didn't want to include it in this one um, in this video simply to keep the video as, as brief and as clear as possible but if you get that message that's what it's really coming up against it gets stuck when it's trying to apply a name to the new sheet so you can see it's created the sheet it just hasn't been able to name it properly so I'm just going to delete that and if we went back to the start and we chose a, a different name that didn't already exist in the in the sheet index nothing would um, would be a problem it would just go ahead and do it anyway um, enjoy the file email me if you would like it and thanks for your time.